Hello, hello! Welcome to another tutorial video from Analytics Voyage. Today, I would like to go through the concepts of covariance, correlation, and causation. These are useful statistical measures that are used in various fields such as economics, finance, and medical research these days. Let's start with a simplified explanation of covariance and correlation. Both covariance and correlation describe the relationship between two numerical variables. For example, let's consider the production of a manufacturing company as the first variable and the energy consumption as the second variable. How do you think these two variables are connected to each other? It's clear that as production increases, energy consumption also tends to increase indicating a positive covariance and correlation. This means that they are both moving in the same direction. Now let's take a look at two different variables. Consider customer satisfaction scores for a retail store as your first variable and total number of product returns as second variable. Let's think about these two variables. How do you think they are linked? That's right, as customer satisfaction scores increase, product returns decrease. It is evident that when customers are happy and satisfied with their purchase, they are less likely to return the product. The fact that these two variables move in the opposite directions suggests negative covariance or negative correlation. Now that we have a general understanding of covariance and correlation, let's dive into a bit more detail about them. Covariance can be calculated using this equation. And as you can see, we only need each individual data point, mean value, and total number of data points within your data set. Covariance quantifies how two variables change together. In statistics and data analysis, the absolute value of covariance is not typically emphasized or used as a primary measure of relationship between variables. Covariance itself, without taking its absolute value, is a measure of direction of the linear relationship between two variables. Positive covariance implies that two variables increase or decrease together. Negative covariance means that as one variable increases, the other one tends to decrease. And if covariance is zero, it means that there is simply no linear relationship between them. As an example, let's consider advertising, spending, and product sales. Positive covariance shows that increase in the amount of advertising budget is associated with increase in the product sales. Positive covariance can also explain the situation where decrease in the advertising budget is associated with decrease in product sales. Correlation is a statistical measure that quantifies the extent to which two or more variables change in relation to each other. Similar to covariance, it helps in understanding the direction of the linear relationship between two variables. It also measures the strength of this relationship. Correlation can be calculated using this equation. And as you can see, we need covariance between two variables and standard deviation for each variable. Correlation value ranges between minus one to one, while the value of one indicates a perfect positive linear relationship. The value of negative one indicates a perfect negative linear relationship. Similar to covariance, correlation value of zero indicates that there is simply no linear relationship between the variables. As an example, let's consider correlation between employee training hours and job performance scores. Correlation value of close to one suggests a strong positive relationship meaning that increased training hours are associated with higher job performance. Now let's explore some visuals to illustrate correlation. In this chart, 
we observe a positive correlation between two variables. As discussed, both are moving in the same direction, increasing together. On the contrary, this chart displays a negative correlation between two variables. When we increase the variable on the x-axis, we observe a decrease in the variable on the y-axis. Moving on to the third chart, it illustrates no apparent correlation between the variables on the x-axis and y-axis. We can observe that there is no clear trend or pattern in the values as the data points are scattered randomly. Remember when I mentioned that correlation gives us insight into the strength of the relationship between two variables? In this chart, you can observe that when the relationship is stronger, data points are closer together. On the other hand, in cases of a weaker relationship, as demonstrated in this chart, the values are more spread out. In the final chart, we can observe a noticeable pattern among the data points, indicating some form of a relationship. However, it is clear that this relationship is not linear. Okay, and finally, causation. What is causation? Causation indicates a direct cause and effect relationship between variables, where a change in one variable directly leads to a change in the other. Establishing causation requires deeper understanding of the relationship, which is normally achieved through experimental design or analysis of observational data while accounting for potential confounding factors. It's crucial to emphasize that correlation does not necessarily imply causation. Just because two variables are correlated doesn't mean one caused the other. There could be a third hidden factor or just a mere coincidence. A classic example is the correlation between ice cream sales and drowning incidents. While both increase during the summer, one doesn't cause the other. Another example, imagine analyzing the correlation between employee engagement and company profits. A positive correlation doesn't mean employee engagement directly causes higher profits. Other factors like market condition, strategy, or product quality can also influence the profits. Great! We've just covered the concepts of covariance, correlation, and causation. Now, if you have an interesting example of correlation versus causation that you'd like to share with everyone, feel free to drop a comment on this video. If you have any suggestions for topics you'd like us to cover, or if you have questions about data analysis skills, feel free to ask. We're here to help, and we might even make a video on it just for you. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorial videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.